You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News at 9. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Hanukkah starts Sunday already. It's here. So, of course, we had to bring in our girl, Debbie Kornberg. She's going to spice things up with us and teach us um, how to make potato latkes. And if you've seen, I've already taken a bite. <clears throat> she has. I couldn't, listen, I couldn't help it. It's she wanted to, you wanted to take the display. I wanted to eat the display, <laughs> which, by the way, is fresh. Yes. Um, before we get into all of this, so. Talk to me about why we, okay, so the first night of Hanukkah, yes, celebrated at night, why is that? Okay, so Hanukkah starts Sunday night. We go by a lunar calendar. The Jewish calendar is lunar, so all of our holidays start in the evening mm -hmm. and go to the next evening. Okay. So that is part of just the general Jewish calendar. Hanukkah celebrates um, so many amazing things and dates back to ancient times, 167 BCE, before oh, the Common goodness. Era, before the time yes. of Jesus. Uh, there was a ruler named King Antiochus from the ancient town of Mesopotamia, uh, huh. now known kind of as like Turkey and Iraq. Okay. And he conquered Jerusalem and parts of Israel, uh -huh. conquered the Holy Temple of Jerusalem very serious, yes. desecrated it, yes, and uh, forced the Jews to either convert to Hellenism or leave. Oh, wow. Okay. And so there was a town called Moda'in, which still exists today in Israel, just outside of Jerusalem, and there mm -hmm. were the Maccabees who said, no, we're not going to bow down to idols, yes. and no, we're not going to convert to Hellenism, and they decided to fight back. Okay. And it was a three-year war. Jews win, mm -hmm. and they go back to rededicate the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and they find a little vial of oil to light the menorah. And this is important. This is where yes. this comes in. Yes. Okay. Now, what I'll mention is this is I'm, a, I'm still holding this. You I'm can put hold this down. it. Sorry. <laughs> this is a nine-branch menorah. The okay. one in the temple was actually seven-branch to represent the seven days of creation. Okay. And there was a miracle that happened when they lit the the menorah. The menorah didn't just stay lit for one night it lasted for eight nights Ooh, look at that so that is why we have an eight branch menorah with our helper helper candle. helper can okay okay candle. this is the helper yeah, candle it's called a okay. shamash and I so understand. that's how we light and every night we start with one candle we add two three four or five till we get to eight and hanukkah is hebrew for dedication and it goes back to rededicating the temple from its Take okay, over. see, thank you for that. So now yes. I understand how it came to be. Yes. But what is the significance of potato latkes right. with Hanukkah? Such a good question. Um, so depending on where you are from, your Look ethnic background. So mm -hmm. I am very Eastern European. Okay. Uh, when the Hebrew term for that is Ashkenazi. And so if you're from Poland, Russia, Ukraine, those parts of the regions in December, there's not a lot that grows. You've got potatoes and onions. Ah, okay, okay. And some flour an egg okay. you mix that up so this is how you make the latke yeah but am but, i saying it right yeah okay yeah All you're right. good okay uh, we're not talking hummus or hummus here. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, but the significance is the oil. So we cook in oil because of the miracle of the temple Understood. of the lighting of the menorah. So what oil do you use today? So uh, you could use olive oil. Mm -hmm. I used grapeseed today. Okay. Um, ancient times they would have used olive oil okay. because that is very indigenous to the region and I the see. land. And so, but you know, that's Ashkenazi. If you're Sephardic, maybe you come from Iraq, India. Yemen, North Africa, mm. you would eat fritters, like we call them donuts. Yes. But they're fried like, in oil. Yes, I like donuts, yeah. fritters, whatever you like to, I like latkes too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the idea is that it's oil. I gotcha. So that is the significance. We take the food that's regionally around us and we dig in. Of course. Debbie, you have to show me, because okay. uh, I don't want to run out of time here. I yeah. want you to show me how to make the latke and then what goes with it, because right. I see a lot of different toppings. Yes, oh, I'm all about yum. the toppings yes, and the yes. spices. Mm -hmm. So there's a traditional debate, is it applesauce or sour cream? Yeah. <laughs> that is the, that is the Hanukkah both. debate. <laughs> <laughs> so I like applesauce, my husband likes sour cream, okay. but I've got um, some like garlic onion herb Ooh. dip here, mm. I have a tzatziki dip, labne, which is a kefir yogurt with za'atar and mm. olive oil, I've got a very good schmear there with some tzatziki dip and lox, right you know, that's mm, very yum. chewy, lox, okay. bagels, right? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So you're making it, so you basically have the potatoes, that they're shredded. Yeah, I shred it, some people grind it up, okay. that's my style. 
some shredded onion, flour, and egg. Okay. And salt. And of course, I have my carrots in the oil because it helps prevent from the oil burning. Okay. That's Sounds my good. little thing. I remember that. Okay, so you just mix it all yeah, up? Yeah, mix it up and then we just put it in. Turn on the stove. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they just fry up and this is this they is They fry this up is and this is what happens. It comes out yeah. to this golden brown. Um, easy enough. <laughs> I say easy enough because Debbie made it, okay? <laughs> um, so here's the deal. As you are preparing for your Hanukkah festivities, you can always check out Debbie's other recipes. She's got a ton of them. I'll tell you what, oh gosh. I think you're gonna have to pick it up, girlfriend. That's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. My point in all this, you can find her <laughs> recipes on our website. Go to fox5sadigo.com, click the scene on tab, Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Oh, Thank Debbie, you. it was so nice to, to have you here. Are, are we going to toast? Howard, how are we going to toast? Oh, yeah. you just have cake. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. We'll be right back. I want to give a gift to you. Light up the night, find love, shine.